Meanwhile, Palestinian Americans here in Houston offer their perspective on the conflict. They rallied in downtown Houston Saturday, calling for the liberation of their state. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle was there and has the report. This past week, we've heard from many members of the Jewish community here in Houston about this war. But today we saw thousands of Palestinian supporters at City Hall who said what we're seeing play out is a demonstration of rebellion by their homeland after being oppressed for decades. An emergency rally for Palestine was organized on the steps of Houston City Hall. Stop the violence, stop the hate. The Palestinian youth movement joined their local cultural center and other organizations as they shouted and marched against what they called oppression by the Israeli government. The Israeli defense minister has called for the genocide of Palestinians living in Gaza, ordering a full siege on Gaza. No power, no food, no gas to fight what they call human animals. Those who rallied say the current deadly conflict is the culmination of 75 years of colonization, with the last 16 years being more difficult due to a heavily restricted blockade on the Gaza border. They tell us many Palestinians have been killed and imprisoned by Israeli forces through raids just this year. They also asked the U.S. government and other allies of Israel to stop funding Israel's efforts. We demand that the United States end its complicity in enabling and providing military funding for the senseless massacres against Palestinians in Gaza. <laughs> Palestinians from local colleges, including U of H and Rice, also addressed the crowd. My family was not just another casualty. One student called out the names of 14 of her family members, men, women, and children, who died in a refugee camp along the war zone in the last week. Abid Ahmed, three years old. Yamin Ahmed, six months old. Yamin Ahmed, 25 years old. These are the so-called military targets being bombed by the Israeli occupation forces. This is who pays the price when Israel attacks Gaza. Houston police also said two protesters were detained at the end of today's event when fireworks were set off in the crowd. One man was cited for detonating fireworks in the city limits. The other was released. These same student groups have been holding teach-ins at U of H and Rice, aiming to educate the public on the history of this big conflict. Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News. Well, happening today, faith and social impact leaders are holding a candlelight vigil to show solidarity and support for the people of Israel. Organizers say the event aims to comfort and encourage the Jewish community while uniting against evil and injustice. The vigil is happening at the community of Faith King's Dome Cathedral. That's tonight at 6.